Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to Web 102. So even if it's been a long time since you've had Web 101, even if it's not been a long time since you've had Web 101, this is going to be encapsulated entirely with the realities that are COVID. So what I wanted to do here in this intro was tell you a little bit about what we should be doing, tell you a little bit about what we are going to be doing, which don't worry is still in line with what we should be doing, um, and let you know some of the, can I call them 2020 concerns that we will address and defeat here so that you are going to get the best experience that you can with this as an online course. So in Web 101, what we did was we investigated CSS and HTML for front end web design and delivery, right? So what you did by the end of Web 101 was you created websites that were entirely user facing, right? All of our concerns there were user facing. We developed, um, you know, high quality content, high quality images, and all of that was done so that we could deliver content to the user. Now here in Web 102, what we're going to do is expand, but take a step back from the idea of what it is that we're going to give, <clears throat> excuse me, to the user in the way of front end development. So I had alluded to a few times over the course of the course that this is the way we should be learning things, but in no way, shape or form am I ever going to do this when it comes to a production environment. And what we're going to do with this course is peel back the curtain on all of those other things that you might do in a production environment that we were not able to do with CSS and HTML. Let me also just suggest to you though, what you learned in HTML and CSS in no way, shape or form are you going to simply throw away now. Everything that you learned in Web 101, we are going to be able to revisit here in 102. We're going to be able to expand on it. We're going to be able to make it better um, in a way that makes it even closer to the way that you would see the web being used in a production environment. So what does a production environment mean? You know what? That's going to mean something different to every single last one of you. Sometimes a production environment means you are going to use web pages essentially as emails that you send to clients. Sometimes it means that a production environment is going to simply be creating landing pages for individual users to come back to. That's good too. Um, sometimes a production environment really means using a content management system to have a tremendous amount of content that is spread over sometimes several different URL properties, right? So rockvalleycollege.edu, rvccis.info, rvccis.org, rvccis, no, myrvc.org. Those are separate web properties that we would use a content management system to help us simultaneously modify. So we are going to in what is called a survey type course. We are going to go instead of really deep into a whole host of subjects, we're going to see an introduction to a wide variety of them. So that is what we'll see here in Web 102. We are going to look at Dreamweaver um, and that will be a stand in for um, a rapid deployment environment. We are going to look at Bootstrap, which is a content management platform. Uh, it's got its own rules and regulations. We are going to look at JavaScript. Um, we are going to look at PHP. We are going to look at, all the while, we're going to look at 
even further good practices, I want to call them, for user experience and user design. So those are the things to look forward to here in Web 102. Now, I mentioned before, and I'm going to come back to that theme here, that all of this is going to be packaged in a, a COVID, not a COVID flavored, because I don't want that for any of you. Um, all of this is going to be COVID friendly. Let's call it that. So what we're going to have to do is make a couple of concessions here as we go along. And what I don't want to do is use this space to talk about those changes and concessions. What I'll do is as we go through, I'll tell you what would have been the in-class if we were on Rock Valley College property procedures and then I'll tell you about the because I don't want to mess up your computers at home procedures. So you are going to see those sprinkled here and there throughout everything that we do. I just want you I guess to be aware moving forward that yeah I'm going to change this so that you have the best opportunity possible to deal with these really shit circumstances that all of us are dealing with um, with COVID. So one of those circumstances is my office here has also become, it's right back here. You can tell, boom. Um, my, uh, my four-year-old's K4 classroom. Um, so we're in the process of moving these things around. That's why I'm on a crappy camera in the back of my office um, because today that's all the more room I had. Um, so I've got changes going on here. You've got changes going on at home. Like, you know, let's deal with them. Um, so without further ado, let's get into more of Web 102. Welcome back, everybody.